Welcome back. Today we are going to be talking about the move tool. Go ahead and open up Blender and do new file general. And we're going to go ahead and save as, and we'll just call it move. Let's go ahead and set up Suzanne for sculpting, but we're not really sculpting today. We're just going to be using the grab tool. Uh, so go ahead and do multi-resolution, just like we always do, just to get in the habit of sculpting. <laughs> so now we'll flip into sculpting with control tap down and look over here to the very bottom of your layers or your tools here. You've got the move tool. So when you click that, notice this little widget appears and that lets you move your sculpting area in those directions. You can also change the orientation to global, local, normal, gimbal, view, cursor, and these are all going to change the way your geometry moves. So a cool way to do this is maybe we make a mask. So go ahead and grab your mask brush up here and maybe scale it up. And let's do shift F to increase the strength. So it's masking 100%. And so now what you do is just draw a mask and mask out some of Suzanne here, just like half of her face, something like that. And then check the back, make sure you got a little bit on the back. And so now we've got this nice little half gradient Quelle de Ville monkey going on. And now if we use the move tool, notice it's only going to move the unmasked part. So just click and drag one of these little line edges. Looky there. So now you can quickly move pieces of your sculpting area. And notice since there's a soft gradient in the mask, that's what's letting it be very stretchy looking. So if you need to move something, you can even just click and drag and move it very freely. And we'll just undo that moving right there. So all I want you to do in this lesson is just mask off part, some part of Suzanne and then use your move tool to move the geometry around and kind of just get in the practice of no, or just knowing that that tool is available for you. Once you've moved Suzanne's head around a little bit, then let's go ahead and jump into the next tool, which is the rotate tool.